Well, good morning. Uh, it is just around about half past six, and I will now show you where I am. So through the power of Google Earth, you will see as we begin to zoom in that I actually find myself on the River Avon just upstream from uh, the beautiful city of Bath. Now, the next thing I do is I'll swap over to uh, standard Google Maps and have a quick look at uh, Street View. And uh, this is a view from the bridge, obviously, uh, looking back to where you, oh, well, back to where I am right now, just where I'm pointing there uh, on the riverbank. Uh, so I'm looking back at the bridge this way. Now, what else I can see is by using the little yellow fella, I can drag across and onto this photosphere and you'll see another view actually on the river uh, taken from a boat. Uh, and that's generally the view I'm trying to get uh, today. Right, so now, as you can see, it's still quite dark right now. You might just be able to hear uh, the river. So let me just swing you guys around. Let me just... Uh, tweak the tripod and then let's see if you can see what I can see. So the original plan, so the original plan was to get here right about now to get uh, the blue hour with the, uh, the sun rising just over to my right now. Uh, woke up really thick fog this morning so we may get some interesting light. We'll just wait and see, wait for the sun to come up. Right, as you can see, the, uh, the sun is slowly coming up. You can start to see a little bit more of uh, what's behind me. You have a peek behind me there. See some uh, unlucky folk going to work on this Friday morning. So, um, I'm going to show you down. Got my camera set up. Trying to get a nice wide vista of the entire weir in front of me. Uh, and you know, if I move across the side slightly, I'm going to put here the uh, screenshot from a, an app I use called Clear Outside. Um, and all week, the last two weeks, I've been planning to come here. And said it's going to be a beautiful, clear morning with just some nice high clouds. Uh, we should record a beautiful sunset. We're hoping for some beautiful colours. Uh, woke up this morning, and as you'll see on the app there, fog. Absolutely fog. <laughs> I'll drive down here about 20 miles an hour, trying to see where I'd go. But Hopefully, as the sun comes up, so if I show you this other bit of footage from um, uh, the phone version of uh, Photo Pills, it shows you an augmented reality overlay of where the sun's going to rise. It's going to rise over here somewhere, and I hope as that comes up, it's going to burn through some of the fog, and we might get some nice, nice rays coming through. But in the meantime, we're going to do some long exposures, because it's still quite dark, smooth that water out, and try and get some nice minimalist flat lights. Uh, views whilst we sit and wait on uh, what is actually, despite the hat and coat, not too cold a morning. Right, so if you're wondering what uh, all this malarkey is, effectively what I've got here, uh, come on focus, it's just a little flash trigger. Focus, focus, not today. So this is just a normal, very simple remote flash trigger. So if I fire this camera, have this on a flash, it will fire the flash but you can actually wire it up the other way around with the little cable and every time I press this, it fires the camera. It means I don't have to uh, touch the camera, it doesn't shake it. And oh, so a little bit of history then. So I used to live not far from here, just up the road towards, towards Chippenham. And this bridge here is a let me get this right, a Grade 2 listed uh, toll bridge. Uh, cost 50p to drive over, um, and it's single track, so you have to take, take your turns. But what it does, it takes you into the back way into Bath. So uh, rather than driving in the back down the A40, A40 so, uh, main road, down into London Road, and then the nightmare of trying to get into town via London Road, you could actually go in this way over the bridge, takes you up into uh, Bathwick, uh, and straight into town. So. It was a little sneaky little run that the locals use that, uh, yeah, you can save you a good few minutes on a, on a Saturday morning, definitely trying to get into, into Bath, uh, to the shops or, or whatever. So I um, used to come over here quite a lot and see this beautiful scene. Uh, and just across the way behind me is a pub called the Bathampton Mill. Uh, used to go there back in the day, used to do good, good food, not sure about these days, I'm, it's still open. So, uh, um, yeah, and that place gets flooded every now and then, being by the river. 
So I uh, hope your insurance is good. So when I was back down this part of the world uh, this week, uh, or knew that I was going to be down this week, I thought it might be a great idea to pop down and probably try and get a picture of this place because you know somewhere I've been past lots and lots. Uh, birds starting to fly about. Um, so you know I've already shown you on Google Earth the view of the place, uh, then using a, another app called Photo Pills. You can actually place yourself, place your camera, you can place um, your field of view from the lens you're going to use and you can actually plan out uh, where you want to do your shot from, really much from the start. And also, as I showed you on the AR thing, it shows you where the sun's going to rise uh, so you can decide what sort of shot, what sort of time of day you need to be there. You know, and as I said earlier, I was expecting a beautiful sunrise over there somewhere, beautiful colourful skies with the cloud cover. Uh, except we've got this horrible claggy fog this morning, so it's added its own atmosphere to the place. Um, yeah, we'll see what we get really. Um, what time are we at now? It is now 7 o'clock, so I think I'll give it another hour and we'll see, uh, see if the fog burns off. Take a few more compo uh, composures, compositions around here and see what we've got. But you know, it's not always about getting the picture, it's about getting up early, seeing the world. You know, and for the last hour and a half, I've had this place completely to myself, other than the odd jogger over the bridge. But other than that, it's been quite peaceful and it's just nice to get up and see the world in a different light. Right, what, what I'm going to do now is uh, basically do a pano of the entire thing, which is going to give me a much higher resolution file when I squish them all together later today. Uh, so let me just show you, the camera's now tilted on its side, so I've been messed about getting the, the tripod nice and level, so as I move it around, because um, on the top, when it's, the camera's horizontal, you can spin it on the plate and sort out the balance and the, the, uh, the levels quite easy. But when you cant it over to the vertical uh, setup, it's, uh, you're much more reliant on the tripod itself being level. So there's a little bubble level on it, so I've been fuffing about for the last five minutes getting that nice and central. And what I'm going to do now is take my uh, series of, let's see, one, two, three, probably five or six uh, shots to stitch together. I've focused uh, on the weir, I've locked manual focus, that's not changing. All my other settings are manual, so they're not changing. So hopefully, everything should be nice and uh, easy uh, to stitch together. And we've got some uh, dabbling ducks like last video. Awesome. Right, it's good so I've been checking this app, uh, once again, the um, Clear Outside app. And if I record this screen for you, here we go. So I'll put this here somewhere. Um, as you can see, it is now half seven. Uh, it's heavily visibility, uh, it's going to be two fog through until eight o'clock, nine o'clock, it's 100% fog. To be fair, it's lifting a little bit. Then after that, if you go up to where it says total cloud, low cloud 100. Uh, that means 100% rubbish low cloud. So I am not convinced I'm going to get any beautiful sunshine this morning, which is a shame. Single up so bloody early. Um, so I think what I'll do is, right, let's uh, stop that for a second. Stop recording. Cool. So what, what I'll do, I think I'll do a slightly tighter uh, panorama going out to uh, instead, of, instead of having 18 degrees I'm going to go down to 35 and really uh, once I've stitched it in post really crop it top and bottom to make a very nice sort of thin pano uh, still getting some of this lovely, lovely smooth water but it's actually with a two second uh, shuttle I'm using now we're getting some lovely streaks on the on the weir as the water tumbles over so that should be quite nice I just need to time it to not get any light streaks with these cars, so the world's waking up and heading to work soon. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll do that. Then I might take a wander down, um, I don't know if you can see it, down this way towards the bottom of the bridge, down here. So we're in, where we're pointing in here somewhere, there's some quite interesting swirly water going on, so I will obviously take my life in my hands on this a little bit slippery uh, riverbank and see if I can get another, another view down that way. Uh, just this really nice swirly water going on down there, which might uh, make uh, an additional composition. Um, no, over there, I can't, there's no way over that side of the bank to actually get a good view of the weir. So I'll go around here in a minute. Uh, but first, I'll do this pano, uh, and I'll show you that, and then I'll reconvene elsewhere.
down the riverbank, what I'm going to do is use my uh, 360 camera to record a picture right here. So as you saw from my um, planning phase earlier, looking at Google, Google Maps, with the boat that was out here, um, it just that helped me with my composition of where I wanted to go and see where I wanted to be. So once again, I'm going to use this bad boy, uh, upload it to Google Maps, and uh, I'll put a link in the description below. So uh, let us see if this is going to work. Oh. I will right, we'll take a couple of those just to be sure. Ooh, and the, the beeping just gives you, because there's no screen on this thing, it, the screen is on your phone, so it's uh, really difficult to press a button without you being in the picture. So if I can, I can just press a button on here and it gives a two second beep and I can put it up somewhere, or you can do it on the phone. So here we go. And just for giggles, it's, uh... boom. So we uh... there we go. so on here now I can swing the whole thing around as a little photo sphere. So yeah, I'll put a link uh, to that. You probably see my. Oh, no. You can see me gawking up at the camera. Um, so what I'll do, I'll put a link to that down below and you can see exactly what's here. All right, let's see if I can get out of here without tumbling into the water. All right. So I think that's it for today. Um, I see the light is gonna be dull and gray. Uh, pretty much all day. So, not brilliant, but that's, I guess, the uh, the price you pay when you don't live locally and you can't come and go um, as you'd like. So, you know, it's been a good morning, up early, desperately, desperately need some coffee now, some breakfast, fill my belly. So, what I'll do, I'll head back to the car and I'll, uh, I'll show you these videos later. So, what can I say? Thank you very much for watching. If you do like what you see, uh, please do give it a like. Uh, please give it a subscribe. I've got a few more trips planned for the next uh, month or so. Uh, I've got another one in, uh, in this part of the world, uh, another one in Norfolk to do, uh, and a few other things bubbling along as options for the future. So uh, yeah, click the button below, and I'll see you next time.